everyone knows about Pythagoras theorem. How many of you know the proof for Pythagoras theorem? Happy New Year. Happy New Year for 2019. Right. Those of you who are thinking about uh, CAT, I'm just going to give you a broad overview of uh, the kind of three, four things to keep in mind while you're preparing. A more very detailed, uh, fabulous session on prepare CAT preparation plan for 2019 is already there on the channel. It will be there in the description. So if you want a more detailed overview, check that out. Right. What should you keep in mind when you're preparing? If now you're starting now, you have a long time. And so make sure that you have some basics in place. The first thing I keep on saying, and I'm a bore about this, is learn from first principles, learn from basics, learn proofs of theorems. I understand and appreciate that the underlying can come of use somewhere. Uh, Pythagoras theorem, everyone knows about Pythagoras theorem. How many of you know the proof for Pythagoras theorem? Go and check that out. The word swimming can be used as a noun and as a verb. So do you know what those kind of words are called? Check that out. Do, do some reading on, on that. So travel, wander, you have lots of time. So there is a joy in just learning from basics for the sake of learning. So don't leave that on the table. Definitely chase that because this is a long thing. You go, you're going to have 11 months, 10 months, 12 months to prepare for these exams. So use that window usefully. Second, what should you do? Read, read a lot. Read with pattern, read without pattern, read fiction, non-fiction, science, politics, sports, entertainment. Read a a lot with a lot of variety and a lot of uh, different lengths of articles and so on the youtube channel on community we post a lot of articles we practically post one article every day of varying styles and levels of difficulty and lengths do check that out because that's fabulously useful and so stick to that what is the third thing i want you to keep in mind and have a lot of fun while preparing and so you need to have a sense of joy about hey i'm learning something and i need to have fun during that learning process and a lot of times when you're in the mainstream learning, when you finish your school, undergraduation, post-graduation, you're always caught up in a, in a cycle. You want to finish this so that you want to game that, you want to submit that report and get that next mark and do the next thing. And so uh, don't make your CAT preparation like that. You need to be goal oriented. You need to have a plan. You need to have discipline. You need to stick to it. But in the moment of learning something, you need to enjoy that. So keep that in mind. Have some amount of fun. Uh, during this learning process and that will pay off. So there's not a 10 point plan and a full schedule for what you need to do, but keep these three things in mind and it should, should go a long way in, in, in enjoying this process of preparing for this exam. Best wishes for Ken.